I mean, that's why they call her Canada's Songbird. And when I think of Canada's... Canada's Songbird? Yeah, Canada's Songbird. Huh. Oh, there's more words. <laughs> I'ma let you finish. <laughs> but I learned something else. I've learned that, yes, CBC has made great shows, but shows are not what make the CBC great. You still here? I'll never leave. It's you that makes it great. It's all of us. After all, we make this network happen. You're doing my act now? What we've been when it comes down to it, CBC is about Canadians telling stories. And those stories are heard from coast to coast, from the U.S. border to the top part. No hard feelings? I can't stay mad at you. One dream realized. So because we couldn't do without you and your ideas and your voices, I just want to say thank you to all of you in every town and city alphabetically, from Abbotsford to Aberdeen to Acton. From Whitehorse to Yellowknife to Zurich, Ontario. Beneath its snowy mantle, cold and clean. I don't know whether it's all worth it. And yet, when I get on stage, I get a feeling that I just, it just happens to me. The young singing star from the Maritimes. Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. They can't believe some of the things I do. You'll have to excuse me if I lose control at times. They're getting used to me now. Don't run out on me. I never ever told anybody I wanted to be a big star. It just seems to be happening. She belongs to the world. You know her as a Grammy winner. It don't matter. I realized that I could hold my own. And the winner is Anne Murray. This is really important to me. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think it'll sell. What he sings to you Like my brother the wren and I Well he told me If I try I can fly For you And I want to try For you Cause I want to sing you A love song I want to rock you In my arms All night long I assumed that everyone could sing as well as I could. And, and the first time I remember hearing about that, I was about nine and singing along in a car. And my Aunt Kay said, my, she has a beautiful voice. I found out about 10 years later that she's totally tone deaf. <laughs> I'm not sure that your upbringing as such has anything to do with the way you sing. I just lucked out. I think that the sound of my voice, for instance, is in the genes. When I was a teenager, I took singing lessons. For three years, I took classical voice lessons. So I was singing Italian arias and French and German art songs, and then would break into <laughs> something rock and roll by Buddy Holly or, or, or Elvis Presley. And then came Dusty Springfield and the Beatles, and I was done for. I was totally done for. Sing all day, all night through. Your pride, I'll sing for you. It wasn't until I auditioned for Sing Along Jubilee that I went down, and there were hundreds of people there. And after that audition, I went, whoa, you're better than any of those people. And, and then I got a letter saying that I wasn't even accepted on the show. That shocked me. When I auditioned for Sing Along Jubilee the second time, I sang You've Lost That Love and Feeling. 